and motion are relative terms. There is nothing in this universe which is in absolute rest or in absolute motion. For example, when a train is moving and there are two persons sitting inside train, person A and person B on their respective berth. So with respect to A, person B is at rest or we can say that with respect to B, person A is at rest and train is moving goes in this direction with velocity v now a person c is standing outside the train so with respect to c b is in motion but with respect to a b is at rest so an object can be at rest or can be in motion at the same time but for different observer so motion depends on observer Motion of a system depends on its initial and final position with respect to an observer. So, while describing motion or rest, we will treat these terms as relative to each other. Now, relative velocity, suppose there are two objects, objects A and B, and they are moving with velocity VA and VB then relative velocity is defined as velocity of A with respect to B it is written as and this is velocity of A velocity of an object A with respect to B so in this case observer is B and the system that is moving is A. Similarly, velocity of B with respect to A. In the second case, observer is A and the system that is moving is B. Now, velocity of A with respect to B is defined as velocity of A minus velocity of B here VA and VB are the velocity of respective that is A and B with respect to some common frame of reference or with respect to ground similarly VBA velocity of B with respect to A is defined as velocity of B minus velocity of A so we can say that velocity of A with respect to B is equal to minus of velocity of B with respect to A or it can also be written as velocity of A with respect to B plus velocity of B with respect to A is 0. It means if two persons are moving and the velocity of person A is VA with respect to ground and velocity of person B is VB with respect to ground then velocity of A with, res velocity of A with respect to B will be equal and, and opposite to velocity of B with respect to A now suppose for a given problem let's say let VB is 0 or let's say VA is 0 then VAB velocity of A with respect to B is VA minus VB 0 minus VB is equal to minus VB and we have perceived this kind of motion now suppose an automobile is moving on a highway in this direction then the passenger sitting in the automobile perceives the motion of the roadside trees in the opposite direction. Now in this case the automobile is object B 
and it is moving with velocity v b so and the tree is object a so velocity of roadside tree with respect to the automobile is minus v b that is for a person sitting inside this automobile the roadside tree will appear as they are moving in the opposite direction with the same velocity another example suppose there are two trains standing on the platform side by side on parallel railway tracks and this is platform now suppose this is let's say train a and this is train b now suppose train b starts moving in this direction with velocity v then the person sitting inside this train a the person sitting on this side when they see the motion of train b for them it appears that train a has started moving in the opposite direction with the same velocity so the concept of relative velocity is important one while solving problems for example there is an object a moving with velocity 5 meter per second in this direction another object b is moving with velocity 3 meter per second in the same direction initial separation between object a and b is given as 10 meter that is initially they are separated by 10 meters and they both start their motion at the same time object a is moving with 5 meter per second and object b is moving with 3 meter per second along the same line now after how much time a will catch the b that is how much time a will take to catch the object b since they are moving along the same line initial separation is 10 meter and object b is moving with 3 meter per second object a is moving with 5 meter per second there are two ways to solve this problem one by using relative concept of relative velocity and second one is by using equation of motions derived previously now let's solve this problem from the equation of motion so let's say the object a will catch the object b after time t so in time t the object a will cover a distance of 5t and in the same time object b will cover a distance of 3t now in to catch the object b the distance covered by object a that is distance covered by object a should be equal to distance covered by object b plus initial separation that is equal to 10 meter so 5t should be equal to 3t plus 10 or 2t is equal to 10. This implies t is equal to 5 second. So a will catch the person b after 5 second.